All right, we're gonna start this off with a shotgun. Should you shotgun? We'll just, I'll just chug this, right? I'm gonna chug this too because I'm not a good shotgunner. So you're our first shit show shotgunner. I, yeah, I don't know let's why. Let's do I'm it. This person let's go for it. Sudden. Shit shot. Cheers. Oh, that doesn't sound good. To our first shotgun. Shit shot. <laughs> let's go. How do you do that? I can't chug. Wait. <laughs> Beck is trying to keep up. Oh, I'm gonna burp. <laughs> Do it in the mic. Do it in the mic. Oh, yes. Wait, I'm gonna burp. I should have told you that first. Like, oh, I wait, burped I'm so gonna bad. Throw up. Do you, want an- Do you want another one? Hey, let's let's just pour one in the cup for her too. Just Shuck in another one. Let's see what this thing does. <laughs> This is gonna be like, oh, probably fuck. one of the best episodes. This episode's definitely gonna get us on Santa's naughty list. Ew. For sure. For sure. What are you laughing at? You. Oh, really? <laughs> so what about me? It was good. I'm kidding. <laughs> Here. Mm-hmm. Put that over there. All right. Should we get this going? Ooh, I'm making a concoction. I had raspberry and now grapefruit. <laughs> She's in a mood, bro. Becky's in, in a mood. mood. All right. I need my Justin Bieber flow back. <laughs> I literally feel like a skater boy. With For those of you just listening, we ha- we have some extra Santa hats on today. Becca's got Justin Bieber flowing. All right, that's what I feel. Do like. the head. Yeah, there you go. That, that, right. Those are the skater boys that I used to like back in the day oh, God. <laughs> in middle school. They do the hair flip. I'm like, mom, you just don't get it. I, I used to get dropped off at the mall. They had a skate park at the mall. And I remember in sixth grade, we would have everyone drop us off to go shopping, but we'd all just end up at the skate park. And you know, you like, you like right, walk by the, like the rails and you're just yeah. like in your like sixth grade, like <laughs> terrible limited two outfits. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> or the dances. Oh my God, for like middle school dances. Okay. Let's not get sidetracked. Here we go. Welcome back. I love the skaters. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. Welcome back to the naughtiest episode of the shit show i was like in the world (laughs) brought to you by shag mag shag mag is the one the only digital magazine featuring the hottest woman 100 percent uncensored 100 percent of the time that's right and to my left wait nope sorry to my right i have santa's number one (laughs) naughty lister miss becca Becca. how you feeling tonight bex i'm feeling good i'm feeling silly yeah i can tell (laughs) this is gonna be a a shit show, for sure, for <laughs> sure. And boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you gentlemen tonight. To my left, the one, the only, the wonderful... Kendra Sunderland. Ooh, this is going to be such a spicy episode, I can feel it. I'm I just, excited. I feel good about this one. Do you guys feel good about this one? You in the back over there? Ooh. What about you? Our, over there? Our live audience. I'm definitely warm inside from that Seven. shotgun. That was an impressive shotgun. Definitely not your first. No, it's my 12th. I want to learn... Oh, today? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in total, like, I just started shotgunning a week ago, so How I've been, like, learn? counting them. I just was in Hawaii, and my friend was like, yo, like, the shotgun, and I was like, okay, cool. You t- I've tried shotgunning once, and it, all the foam came right back up and just, like, projectile. Oh, yeah. It's hard. How do you... How do you do it? Just What's swallow your until it's done. That's my tip for everything. Well, I, was like, I use that in other things. <laughs> okay, well before yeah. before we kick this off, before we dive deep and Kendra spills all her all her secrets, because that's what you're doing tonight, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do we're gonna kick it off because it is December and it is the holidays. We're gonna do some holiday trivia. Oh. Yeah? Three uh-huh. questions. We're gonna we're gonna take some um BJ shots for the win. Do you know, do you take these? Sure. We need some whipped cream. Okay. Hand me a whipped cream. So basically, before I fuck this up, I'm whipping my cream. You're whipping. My cream. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm gonna ask you three trivia questions. The first one who gets it wrong or the last one to answer has to take the shot. Okay. Oh my god. And you can, you have to take these shots with no hands. That's why they're. Wait, fine. is this between me and her? Yeah. I know the answers. <laughs> She's not oh, really good geez, at trivia. Oh, Jesus Christ, I dropped out of college, okay. It's, it's I Christmas. didn't go. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my odds are good then, right? Wait, I want to spray that in my mouth. Yes. This is for the all the ASMR folks out there. Listen, I'm street mm, smart, wow. okay? It's pretty nice. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> all right. Luckily, you didn't have to go to school for this because this is just holiday trivia. Okay, guys? <laughs> You guys got this, I believe in you. And if you're listening, play along. See if you can beat these, these two numbnuts. Okay, here we go. 
Who can name all or most of the reindeer? I knew that was going to come. Oh, fuck you, dude. What? <laughs> Rudolph. Dancer, Prancer, <laughs> Vixen, Rudolph. Oh and my I God. got four. Um, there's... Or, or y'all can guess how many there are. How about that? Seven. Uh, eight. There you go. She got it right. Take the beauty, John. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> Wait, you got to put your arms out here. How about I hold this up for you so you don't have to bend as far? Oh, yeah? You want me to hold your hair oh, for you? Wow. Oh, wow. Can we get a zoom in on that? Oh, she did. I'm actually really impressed with you. Yeah. That was wow. Good. One down. Is he's good, yeah? Um, not so much. <laughs> it's just like, oh, like a really thick latte. <laughs> I just don't like coffee that much. Okay. Okay. Well, you're good. Um, okay, next question. Here we go. Let's keep it rolling. How many ghosts show up in a Christmas carol? Three. And eh. Fuck. <laughs> Five. And eh. <laughs> I've never even seen that. Uh, two. And eh. Um, eight. Oh my god, it is. Oh, it's, 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 it's four. <laughs> Wait, but you already, y'all both have to take a One. shot for this. I no, y'all so. both have to go because. Wait, how many is it? It's four. You went three, she oh. went five, then eight. Eight <laughs> Christmas, ghost of Christmas? Can you ask something like, what did the Grinch steal? <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, both of you guys have to take a shot. Do you have to hold your plate oh, for you? shit. No hands, here we go. I can't focus on both. There we go. Mm. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> We're definitely getting on Santa's naughty list with this one. Hello. That's the third time I've used that line, and that one's going to slap. You gotta take a shot. <laughs> I spit oh, that one out. Jesus. All right. That shit is so thick, it's disgusting. You spit it out? Yeah, I took it, and then I held it, and then I swallowed a little bit. So you're a spitter? <laughs> I mean, you're a quitter. She's yeah, like, I'm spitting that a semi swallower. I think is you're what she said. Yeah. Okay, one more, one more until we end this episode. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, can I? Can I do? Um, no, white you claw? can't. You can't do a shot of white claw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll put whipped cream oh, on it. Please. No. no. Right. Ew, dude, that's so thick. You try it. Okay, I'll do it. Give it to me. Okay. Hold the plate for me. Oh, can I ask this one? No. I oh wait, let answer. me wait. Let me ask one. Okay, ready? Oh God, yes. I'm taking over, honey. <laughs> All right. Um. Wait, hold on one sec. Oh my god. Um, whose birthday is Christmas? Jesus is. <laughs> <laughs> and where is he having it this week? Hide. Oh. Okay, you win. I'm sorry, you have to take a shot. <laughs> okay, let's play it for me and see if I can do it. Okay, actually, I can do it. Or is that using my hand? <laughs> I love how you, like, close your eyes. <laughs> did you that not close your eyes? I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I should back. <laughs> Forget my mistakes. Okay. Wait, wait. You still have to take one, just in case you get this wrong. What is the Grinch's dog's name? Max. She won. You have to take a shot. Look, luckily, we have one right here. Do I'll take the one? other one. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, my God. I don't want one. Wow, how nice. <laughs> All I really right. Don't. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to the shit show, baby. You're not <laughs> spitting that out. I don't want that. I'll drink anything else. Okay, take a shot of fucking something else for me, and let's okay. get this fucking show rolling. Okay. Welcome Ooh. to the shit show, Kendra. How are you feeling? Good? Warm and toasty? There's so much fit. After three of okay. those blowjob shots. It was awesome. Look. Got three blowjobs in less than ten minutes. Wow. This is Becca's. We're definitely on the naughty list. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's, let's jump in. I actually have... I'm really intrigued by this library story is, is kind of the first thing I've heard about you. And I just, I'm just gonna let you take it away because I feel like I would, I don't know the full scoop, the full story, so I kind of yeah. want to hear it from you yourself. I mean, it's been six years now, so I kind of have like the same spiel, but I was in college and I was tired of being broke. Same. So I started webcamming, um, and like one of my second days of webcamming, the guys on there were like, you could be so big, like you make so much more money if you went someplace public and they were like Starbucks and I was like, everyone's gonna see me pull my titties out of the Starbucks, <laughs> like, and I don't wanna get banned from Starbucks. Yeah, nobody wants to get banned from Starbucks. Yeah, so like the college, like library was just the closest thing and I went to like the very top floor and just put on this like webcam show and then like months later, I'm just chilling at home with my friend, like watching YouTube videos. Months later? Yeah, like months later after 
all after all of it and I dropped out of school I like stopped lying about my job and then uh, somebody like within the frat I was partying at knew about it and they found like my videos online under like my screen name because I'll like record cam shows yeah and then they just decided to post it on Pornhub with my full legal name like Kendrick Center like masturbates in OSU library and then it just oh like, shit you went to OSU mm-hmm it just blew up ever since then like it was crazy it was like was there overnight. people in the library when you were there yeah there's people walking by but it's like the top floor so you have to be really quiet you can't talk so that's why I was like I don't feel like anyone's up here but after a while like somebody came and sat right behind me so I kind of like knew what was up I was like oh they do realized. you think they were watching the live stream or the I think he was just like maybe turned around at some point and saw me like woo like that. <laughs> <laughs> probably and was like what the freak but no I don't know it wasn't months later like somebody posted it so I was just as like shocked as everybody else you were shocked yeah for sure because it was like it was like a different friend request every second like I kept having to be like oh sorry like I was watching videos of my friend and it was like so many requests and then I was just like, what off Pornhub um it was off Facebook and they were all frat guys like all different frats so I was like I guess like the frat boys know what I'm doing and then I looked on Twitter and it was just like Oh, Twitter was all oh, library girl this, library girl that. Like people hating, people like thinking I'm a legend. Like it was just a bunch of everything. And yeah, at I once. mean, I feel like anything, anything crazy like that you do, people either hate you or think you're a legend. Yeah. But I bet you got. Did you expect it to go as big as it did? No, I really didn't. Like I just wasn't expecting anything. But it's crazy to me that it did. I don't know. I think it's funny. People just like are so fascinated by it. And to me, it's just me like flashing my titties. Like it's so boring. Is that like, what you were doing? You were just flashing your titties in a library? Just flashing and like pretending. Like I'm sorry to break it to people, but I wasn't actually fingering myself. It was like pretend. You were pretending? Yeah. Like, you know, you like put your thing oh. up so it looks like you are. But I wasn't. Like it was all pretend and people just like, I just loved it, I guess. Did you make a lot of money from that one cam, or did you make, you say you made more after, like, I it kind of went viral? More after. I made $800 that night. But for me, like, a broke college student, that was yeah, great. Yeah, in, in college, Hell it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, jumping in. I'm, like, 800 bucks, baby. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> She's, like, shots on me. You go out, you spend it all I at know. the bar. Exactly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you could go back, would you do anything differently? Yeah, I would, um... If I could go back to when I was 19, I would um, like save all my flyer miles and I would like never get into the relationship that I got into. Really? And that's like the but with things. the whole save like, all my flyer miles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love that. <laughs> I know. Where did you fly? Where do you I mean, I've, flying? I've been everywhere. Like I've been so many places and I've never once like had a flyer miles number and like <laughs> Wait, saved I love my this. miles. Oh, so and, you like, would have started. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm an idiot. I could be flying for free right now and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm like anything different with like camming, you know, in the library. And you're like, I would have just saved. <laughs> my flyer my, I would have used my Ralph's card fuckers exactly <laughs> but would you would you still like would you have still sent it at the library yeah yeah, yeah. I'm like, did you only so do happy. it one time yeah yeah so like that's one so time. crazy one time and now it's literally like it's crazy because a lot of girls were doing it like Ginger Banks is like an OG like girl that was doing it in the library and it's just like me that one time just blew up for whatever reason I think it's a college like all the students, like professors, were talking about it. Like everybody was talking Did you get in about trouble? it. Yeah, I got public indecency. That's why I was like laughing last night. We were running around naked in public. I was like, here we go. I'm gonna get another public indecency Did you get, charge. Wait, so you were running around naked last night? I think yeah. I did see a little bit of yeah. um, you standing outside of an In and Out, just yeah, like yeah, just butt ass naked. I love it. I love, <laughs> I love it. it. I love it so much because I, I myself, I've done some pretty risky things of flashing mm -hmm. my boobs, like at the World Series, and like even yeah. I did a stunt at Six Flags, and I got a lot of hate. Like. Yeah. A lot of hate for it. Do you feel like when you go, I, I have a, like a lot of just like anxiousness of just like, you know, what are the, what's going to happen, what are the consequences going to be, you know? Do yeah. you feel that way or do you just? No, I just send it. Really? I was a little nervous. Like when it was coming time to like get out of the car, I was a little nervous, but I was like, fuck it. Like these are going to be dope. And like everyone's seen me naked. So like, what do I care if some people in and out see me naked? Did you I'm get in trouble? No. Because you were full, like, for those of you just listening, where can they find these pictures? I mean, it's for a secret project I have oh, coming okay. up. So, like, in January, everybody will know. But I just was like, I'm crazy. Like, I just wanted to run around L.A. naked. And, like, so, yeah, I mean, keep it, I pictures. guess keep an eye out in January for this project. But, yes. like, these pictures, you are just owning it full 
butt ass naked outside of an in and out. She's like, can I have a number two, please? <laughs> you want really sauce is. on that? She's like, yes. <laughs> Animal style. Fire. I love it. I think it's, I mean, I even saw one outside of like a church. Yeah, I made them. I made them do that. Once I had the idea in my head, I was like, dude, let's go to a fucking church. See, I love that. We actually, yeah. in our last issue of Shag Mag, we shot at, it was a church look like. It wasn't exactly at a church, but even we were kind of scared of like, the you know lashback we we're gonna get from shooting in topless and nude yeah no inside I, don't a church. Like, I don't give a fuck like I don't give a fuck like people God at made this us point, this way like everyone's seen my butthole like my parents still love me like I don't care your parents like, fully support they're just yeah, like my parents are really cool have Wait, they always been like this that. yeah actually when they found out I started webcamming was before the library thing they were a bit like uneasy but I was like just telling them like I'm happy like this is like great I'm safe I'm making good money and like that's all that should matter where are your parents from where do they live uh I'm from Oregon so and that's not that's not conservative like my family's from the south super conservative family no my family's not super religious they've never like put that on us that's it that's so. insane like your parents fully fully they, they like tell me that they're proud of me all the time it's funny to me that people on the internet are like I bet your parents are so proud like your dad's probably so proud and my parents like all the time are like, they're like we're so proud of you proud. <laughs> yeah they're like honestly we are like you're a great person and like you're so caring and like you're just living your life like you're great I love that like, do you have yeah. siblings yeah I have four I'm like right in the middle I'm like your problem child classic problem I child that. wait <laughs> do your siblings like do they support you as well yeah, they're all supportive. I just feel bad for my little brother. He's 13 now, and he just gets teased. Like, his friends are just stupid, like, teenage boys. Like, fuck you guys. Like, oh, yeah. your sister, like, <laughs> she's naked right here. I'm like, oh, you guys are so fucking weird. Like, get over it. <laughs> you know you jack off to it. <laughs> fucking yeah. kids. I'm like, what are you going to do? Beck is watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think there's, like, three misconceptions? Like, about, it could be about anything, about you, the porn industry, that you just want to bust right now. Um, about me personally, I feel like people expect me to be like this crazy, like, like out there bubbly person. I'm just very chill. A lot of people always tell me that I'm like very chill and they're surprised. Yeah. It could be like the large amount of weed that I smoke, but I also <laughs> feel like I'm just chill at heart and very like quiet unless I have something to say. And about porn, I just feel like people just don't understand that like we are like we have morals like yeah. I like just because I think this is okay and you don't like doesn't mean that it's not okay you know yeah. like everyone has different things that make them happy and I'm like blessed that when I was 19 when the library thing came out I had already came to terms with myself and I was like I'm happy so fuck what anybody has to say and like that's how do you think that helped like what helped you get that mindset because I mean that's still even a mindset I kind of struggle with today of just like I think it's me though going more against like my upbringing and like family mm -hmm. of just kind of like owning it and being like fuck you like this is what I want to do this is who I am what do you think like put that in your mind um it was definitely webcamming I've always been like insecure about my nipples I have like bigger puffy type nipples not like what? the flat you know like just they're like big and puffy and but I just remember being insecure about it and then I was webcamming and like I had all these guys being like I love your nipples like they're so perfect and I was like really and they're like yeah and then my first nude got out and these people made fun of me and called me pepperoni nipples and I was like I feel like they're proportionate to the rest of my <laughs> boob like I just don't feel that way and then I remember that was the time when I was like okay fuck all y'all like I have all these guys like giving me money and telling me I'm perfect like why am I gonna listen to what you say like someone from Oregon that like has never been anywhere ever yeah, experienced has never anything. seen a nipple in person <laughs> yeah I was like all right y'all so I was lucky to realize that at 19 I don't think that I would have made it through the industry if I didn't think that way you have to have tough skin is what yeah, you're saying you do. yeah it's really hard it's, it's that's another misconception it's really fucking hard to do this job what do you think makes it so hard just like feeling like I don't deserve love like just feeling like nobody's gonna love me while I do poor and I like that I'm not good enough like I have all these other things to offer but that one job is what's keeping people from I don't know, dating me, <laughs> like loving me. So you have, me. you have, don't say loving you. Yeah, I feel I mean, like, yeah. yeah, no, but I mean, this, this is kind of what sucks. I feel like a lot of people don't actually talk about it and it's yeah. great that you like are willing and open to yeah. like discussing it. What do you think you, have you tried dating? Is it just like, yeah. does it get to a certain point? Does it get to like where they act like they're okay with it and then they end up not being okay with it? Or is it always like an upfront thing of like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people act like they're okay with it and just, like, whatever, but I don't know. It's hard to find people in L.A. that respect me. Like, I just feel like people would laugh at me if I was, like, 
I don't hook up on the first date. Like, you come over to my house and I don't hook up with you, but I do porn. Like, I feel like people are going to be like, what the fuck? But, like, that's what I want. Like, I want somebody that actually cares about me and respects me instead of... How do you separate it? Like, how do you... Like, I guess because it's like, I feel like the saying you, um, who you are isn't exactly what you do. Yeah. And I feel like, how do you keep that two, two things separate? Where like porn obviously like makes you happy in a way, but also you yeah. want someone who makes you happy as well. And obviously like maybe you're having a hard time. Yeah, it's definitely hard because to us, like porn is work. Like I get to people, it's sex and it's like probably you think it's fun. Like we're having a great time. I'm super into this person, but like it's literally work. It's acting. So to me, like doing a scene is like whatever I go about my day, I get paid. Like I get my bread in my head and I leave. <laughs> but like when I'm actually into somebody like that connection is so much deeper and means so much more to me than work and I don't feel like anybody understands that unless you're in my position. Like you could be like, oh yeah, I get that. But you never truly understand like that it's two separate things in our head unless you're like in it. Would you say that you're like a hopeless romantic? Yeah. I don't know if I'm a hopeless romantic or romantically hopeless. Oh. Like one or the other. <laughs> I am because I just love super cheesy shit. Like I just love like the cheesiest, like cutest, fucking like sweetest stuff. Like things that would make people puke and like I just feel like I don't know. Once I go down my list of like everything I want, I'm like, this is gonna what is be what, impossible. What is something you want? What is something you want? Fine. Like it's just like I want somebody over six foot, makes good money, has a car, has their own place, is super secure with themselves, good dick, abs, like tan, attractive, like is like super dominant, but also like like CB baby, like wants to just love me and give me all their love and like doesn't care about everything. All right, guys, you heard it here <laughs> first. She knows she knows She's like, she's like Santa Claus checks his list twice. Please. I check my fifty. I love that. I mean, you know what you want though, and I feel like that's good. I feel like I feel like people get into more trouble if they don't know what they want. That's yeah. like, true. I feel like it maybe makes it tough, like when you do have it this narrowed down, and like you're like, oh, you have this, this, and this, and this, but. Yeah. I feel like you have to, especially out here in LA. Because if you don't, yeah. I feel like you get kind of taken advantage of in a way. Oh, 100 percent. People love people love to take advantage of nice people. It's just the way that it is. Are you seeing anyone right now? Uh, I'm like talking to people. I mean, I'm talking to someone, but it's just like he lives in a different state. So to me, it's like, what are you gonna do? You know, like to me, it's like in LA. Like there's people that like are great and bad or like whatever, but they don't respect me. And then there's people in other places that like really show me that they respect me, but then they're not here. So it's so tough. It's, it's like tough. Long distance. Like, yeah. yeah, long distance is insane. It's um, well, nearly impossible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. I think we've talked about it before. I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I don't think so either. I need mean, like, but honestly, like if you guys have like some time apart, I feel like it can help the relationship. Like when it's just like little times, like yeah. here and there. But like fully long distance is mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather date like a normal guy or a celebrity? Um, a civilian for sure. That's what, we, that's what we call them, <laughs> civilians. Really? I just I just want like a civilian that like only wants me, but like doesn't care that I do porn. Like realizes that that's separate, but like is so obsessed with me and so into me that like they don't want any other girl. Could you date someone else in the porn industry? I don't think so. No. I don't know why. I just personally don't want that. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I don't feel like you. it sucks because I feel like I would get along with them the most. Like we have that in common. But to be honest, I'm not super attracted or into anyone in the industry like it's a very small group of people that we fuck with yeah. so yeah I'm like, eh, I haven't yeah. found them yet so <laughs> have you had any crazy celebrity threesomes <laughs> and I only <laughs> ask this <laughs> because I already know the oh answer oh god I might need to shotgun another white claw oh before this <laughs> let's do it <laughs> she's sitting in there we're like mm. perhaps have you <laughs> encountered <laughs> how do we how do we poke this I need somebody to poke it. Come on, Bex, hit us with this the thing? hit us with the with the little hit us with some Christmas carols. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some Christmas carol music. Okay. Um. Oh my god, I was about to be like, oh, sing. <laughs> 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 I literally. You know, whenever I go, um, whenever I go to a bar, and if they have karaoke, I always sing, um. The national anthem. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, I get wasted and then I sing the national anthem. Oh, we have to do karaoke. I love yeah. that. <laughs> I love that for you. My, and I make everyone like take their hat off. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Yeah. 
and it's everyone fine. would do it. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, Cheers. I literally have this video. <clears throat> Cheers. You have this video of what? I have this video of literally me, like, in um, my hometown, Burbank. <laughs> but there's, like, this, little, like, karaoke bar. She's going to burp. Here and we go. Oh do it in the mic. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I basically sang the national anthem, and, like, all my friends are literally just standing in the crowd with, like, the people at the bar, and they're just, like, saluting. <laughs> It's so God, funny. Help us. I want to see this video. We should play it at the That's end shame. of this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. You'll see Becca singing the national anthem. Drunk yeah. as fuck out of war. Okay. Yeah, so anyways. Still the beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to a GEZ concert one time Ooh. with my friends and... Um, we just like wore onesies because like I thought it was cool to like wear like onesies to festivals because one you like take a video of you dancing to this artist's music and then you post it and you tag them like I'm so excited to see you tonight yeah. so they know what you're wearing. So yeah. at like the Jeezy concert, like one of his people came out to find us and That's like cool. saw us from his like Twitter or whatever and grabbed us and like brought us backstage. Like Halsey comes in, like I think she's kind of, like, kind of mad that we're like back there. And um, she just was like super sweet from the get go, just like came up to us, like said she's a fan and we're like, we're fans of yours and stuff. She's like, can I do cook up your tea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, it took some time for her to warm up to us, I feel like. But then we're all going to this club, and so, like, we go to the club with them in onesies, so, like, everybody's in the club, like, dressed up in dresses and heels and, like, looking at in their section, and here I am in a fucking, like, narwhal onesie, just, like, fucking chilling. I was like, bro, why am I here? Like, I feel so out of place, and then they were being, like, super flirty and shit, and, like, was like, come back to our place, and they, like, pull me into the back room to, like, hook up with me. And I was just like, oh, shit, okay. I was like, this is just fucking crazy. And then everyone was, like, looking and, like, trying to come into the room. Like, everyone was looking for him because it's, like, it's his house yeah. and shit. And, like, coming into the room. So we, like, got interrupted. And I just remember, like, that was it. Like, I just got up and, like, left after Put my that. onesie back on. <laughs> yeah, so you're he was like, like oh, you're stick like around. And I was like, I just know how this is going to go. It's going to be, like, 4 a.m. You guys are still going to be lit. Like, I'm going to want to go home. Like, Wait, I'm you left? Yeah, I left. Like, I, I maybe blew him for a little bit, but then, yeah, I left. Oh, my gosh. Was it as hot and steamy? Like, when you hear g Easy and Halsey threesome, I just think, like... That's literally Julia's dream. <laughs> not really g Easy. It's Halsey. Halsey. Like, Halsey. Halsey. Oh, I'm yeah. Not no, lie. she's great. She's, I love her. She's so sweet. She's so great. Like, she's literally, like... That just, to me, is, like... I'm, it's like I'm almost there, you know? Like, <laughs> close. <laughs> She's I'm like, so I close. Think you're going to come? Which hand did you touch her with, Kendra? I think this one. Oh, yes, Halsey, <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, that's just literally like, I don't know. I mean, it just sounds hot. I don't, it just... Yeah, she's great. I think so highly of her. I think really? she's so great. Yeah, and then yeah. she's beautiful. Is there any other crazy ones? That I you mean, can't I say, but you can't say. Few. I yeah. mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm an open book, but I mean, there's just a few. Is there any crazy stories that you want to, that you just want to just share with the shit show? <laughs> <laughs> just because it's the shit show? The shit show? I don't know. I try and think of, like, when I've been a shit show, when I think of shit show, and I've been, like, arrested and kicked out of the airport, like, three times. For, For what? what? So, like, the first time I was blackout drunk, I think I blacked out checking my bag, and I guess I ran around, like, crying, like, left something at, like, security, oh my God. and then I guess I ran around crying, like, this whole time I'm blacked out, and so I ran around crying, and then, like, the police come, or whatever, like, the airport security, and they were, like, gave me my stuff back, and they escorted me out, basically, of the airport, and like sent me to this other airport in the city and was like, you could fly out of there. And on my way to the other airport is when I started coming to it and I was like, why do I have a ticket for tomorrow? Like, why am I going to this other airport? This doesn't make any sense. And then like eventually, like it was a whole fucking mess. Like I a bought shit show. a <laughs> shit show basically. Designated blackout airport. You get there, so, everyone's uh, blacked out. <laughs> it like was it's bad. always there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that one. <laughs> Oh my god. Fucking Blackout dead. air. Well, one celebrity, <laughs> one celebrity that's kind of like has a lot of buzz right now around sex tapes is Jay Alvarez. Have you seen oh, this? Yes, of course. I, I just used coconut oil today in my scene and I looked at it and I was like, man. Mm. Like I can't <laughs> yeah, not I think, think he, of him. He's got to be so sponsored. Hot. Right? I was just so in Hawaii hot. too and I just 
like went skydiving and I was like praying that I ran into him. Oh, what do you, what do you sky. think? Oh my God, it's Becca so just saw it today. What yeah, I know. When, and they brought it up. I was like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah, it's so good. I watched it like three times. Is it good? Yeah, it's fire. I mean, I yeah. listen, I think it's a very well edited. I love the aesthetic. It's a little, yeah, it's a little bit like, <laughs> it's like, crazy. but like, chop, chop, when you chop, think like, I was sex like, tape, what? this is a music video. When yeah. This isn't a sex tape. When you, yeah, when you think sex tape, I'm like, that's not really like, I mean, yeah, they're having sex and it's a tape, but like, I don't know. I just kind of, what'd you think? What do you, what would you rate Jay Alvarez's sex tape? I think it was like a 10 out of 10 just for like the aesthetic and the way of it. It was very like Tumblr vibes. It was a very Tumblr. Yeah. It was a sex gift music video. It was there great. should be a There should be a Tumblr porn hub. Literally. Yeah. I had so many questions though. I was like, cause normally like coconut oil, at least for me, like throws off my shit. Like if I use coconut oil as lube, like my pH balance is fucked. Like just right away? Or like yeah. Next day, really? Like, I just thought coconut oil was like not number one lube for a lot of people. So I just had so I'm many questions. Be- like, is she okay? Like, how is her pH? Like, <laughs> does she still have coconut oil on her to this day? Like, did they She's- use the whole kettle? Like, what? <laughs> so many questions. That's what I was thinking. No, because he poured it on her and then he like stuck his fingers in her and I was like, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> I've never. I was I- like, okay, it's in there. It's not even like it like drips down a little bit gets in. Like he was like. Like, all right, get on in there. I was like, can we get a zoom in on that? Do that slower for me. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I I, I honestly can say I've never used coconut oil as lube. Me neither. So I don't know Um, if it would have. I had a girl, though, use yogurt. She would literally keep <gasps> yogurt in her fridge and she would go in there and use it as lube. No. Her name's Becca. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, Becca, if like, you're watching what? this, you're weird. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was Becca. Her name was Tori, actually. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Just outing. No, but yeah. How do you I, get that out? Like, that's what, like, coconut oil, if that, like, drips out, like, I'm fine with that, kind of. Maybe. But, like, I don't know. I think maybe she just thought like the pH balances in yogurt she'd be good, but like it just <laughs> seems not good. She's like blueberry yogurt. <laughs> <plate. laughs> I'm getting nasty tonight. <laughs> right. well, I mean, I think it was. I think it was good. It's not something like I would go to watch. Like it's a hot fucking sex tape, but it's not like something. I mean, even as a guy, would you want? No, but you're. You're weird. What about you, Ari? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's just not a normal human being. I haven't seen it. But you I haven't seen it? Oh, we gotta oh show. God. We gotta Can show. We watch thing. it right now. It's so fire. It's, it's just. It's oh. like it's so quick it's that I, I wouldn't be able to focus and come. The sound is like all over TikTok. The sound of it and like people with coconut oil. It's like all over TikTok. Wait, isn't it? Isn't there a sound. song over it? I heard a song. Yeah, it's a it's a song. That one. It's like Mean Girls. I think it's oh, like yeah, Missy yeah. Elliott. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like who fits like Missy Elliott on this step? <laughs> I want to see it. It's so good though. Yeah, I don't even know if you'll be able to find it right now. No, it's like, and is that his girlfriend? Like, is that his girlfriend? I don't think now. Should no. I have hit him up when I was in Hawaii? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Jay, if you're watching this, right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Look, R. Uh, you want to talk us through this one? Wait, scoot over. I want to see Gilly. <laughs> Her boobs are insane. Who's recording this? That's what I was wondering That's what too. I was thinking. Let's go. Ari, you need to film something like this. <laughs> Who cleaned up the bed afterwards? I know they definitely threw those sheets away for sure. Yeah, I was like, oh, that oil's not coming. Oh man. Okay, his eyes. Ugh. Oh wow. Isn't it great? With the editing, it's just so good. So good. As a porn professional, like ten out of ten. It just, this, I, just I don't came know. Out. I just saw it. Yeah, it was just got popular. I don't know. So good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that could be me. <laughs> that could be me. <laughs> well, which it is hot in here. Oh, yeah. It was. Ari, I told that you. It looks like something you would film. That's what I was thinking when I watched it. I was like, Ari, film this. <laughs> He's like, it was me. Ari would be like, no, wait, tone that down. Wait, no, Ari would be like, do that thing again. Ari would be like, do that rub thing. the hand up the leg one more time. <laughs> A little slower this time. <laughs> 
much. Like, we'd have to just keep it tops up. Yeah, I mean, it's hot. Don't get me wrong. Whew. I'm just totally sidetracked after that. I don't even know where to go. I'm like, I know. All I'm thinking about is just the oil. <laughs> just, like, slip and slide. Wow. All right. You know what thing. I think we should do? I think we should change gears. Did he use a condom? Ooh. No. <laughs> Did you know that coconut oil literally dissolves a condom? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will it. dissolve it. Did you not tell me that last night? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Gilly, Gilly learned a new fact. He told me that. Ever. I can't boys, take credit. Boys, do not use coconut oil if you are using a condom. <laughs> so I say in honor of the holidays, in honor of all the boys watching, we give them some holiday tips, right? Nice. I say we give them... Let's, you know, let's start with presents, right? Because I feel like a lot of guys are shopping for girls right now. Well, you better be. And um, I think guys naturally have a really, really, really hard time with gift giving. Yeah. I'm, that's so shocked to me because, like, girls are so easy. I feel like... I feel like some girls are, but I also feel like you... Ha like, there is, like, a very... Like, gift giving is a, is a skill. Mm -hmm. Would you say you're a good gift giver? Yeah, I, but I do think that girls talk about shit that they want all the time. Yeah, <laughs> they're very, very like, like, we're like, oh my god, look at this, <laughs> and they like don't care and like just pay attention for like one week <laughs> and like you'll know what to get. When do you yeah. think? When do you think? How long do you start dating? Like, say someone just starts dating around the holidays, is there a such thing as too soon for a gift? Yeah, like if you just started dating, maybe like at the end of November or whatever. But I feel like you should just talk to them and be like. I, I think know. you get a gift no matter... I don't care if you start dating the day before Christmas. You get a gift no matter what. Even if it's something small just for them to unwrap, I think it's just the, like, unwrapping something on Christmas. It's just, like... Even if it's mm. not anything, like, crazy, I think just giving them something to, like, just show, like, oh, hey, like, I know we just started dating. This isn't anything crazy, but here's something just for you to unwrap. Yeah, and if you're not sure if they're getting you something, I feel like just you could ask like what do you want for christmas because they're gonna be like nothing and then at least they're they'll know that you're getting something yeah you know because yeah. like if they don't think that you're getting something and you show up with something and the other person looks like a dick like i feel like you'd be like oh man i'm so excited for like what i got you for christmas and uh, yeah, I would be like, oh fuck i gotta go get him something <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's yeah that's good that's good I'm oh just, yeah. wait i have a hack i think i found this on twitter so oh God, here we go. <laughs> you basically, if you don't know what to get them for Christmas, you ask them and you're like, I got you a present for Christmas. You get three guesses. Guess what it is. Ah. And then their first three guesses, you have to get one of them. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I just one time because... when I was little, we were actually in <laughs> Toys R Us and my mom was like, hey, what do you think your cousin wants for Christmas? And she held up like something dumb, like a hula hoop or like something really cool. And I hated my cousin. So I told her to buy the hula hoop. Guess who got the fucking hula hoop for fucking Christmas? <laughs> Wait, that's uh, really funny. Me. I literally was like, what the fuck? She literally was asking to see what I wanted for Christmas. I was that's like, hilarious. She was like, get that bitch a hula hoop. I open my Christmas. Fuck. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, that is good. That's, good. that's a good tip. That's, that's so a good funny. Hack. That's a good hack. What do you think? Do you think the length of the relationship should be a correlation with the price of the present? I mean, I feel like if you just, like, if you really like the person, I feel like the more you like them, the better the gift should be. Yeah, so maybe not the length of a relationship. Yeah, just, like, how you feel about them. But I feel like girls are easy because, like, you could get them anything where they're going to look at it and think of you. Yeah, or they're like, easy. a necklace with, like, your initial or, like, for me, it's easy. Anything pink, anything weed-related, anything sparkly. Like, yeah, like her top three things. I Literally. think necklaces are a really good idea. <laughs> really? Because I feel like girls will, like, always wear... If it's something simple, yes. you know what I mean? Mm, you know what? I think, I think you should do the old-school thing where you get oh, them a necklace. Me and her on the on same it. page. Not her. <laughs> Put <laughs> their name on it? Yeah. I like their, like their name. Wait, your name or their name? Their name, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell no. No, wait. Are there, they're, 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 like, it. first, first like, letter or something. Thing. Yeah. I like that. I'm out. I don't like jewelry. What do you I don't want? Like, I, to me, it's what more of like, like I want a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> I'm She's really like, easy. I'm okay? super Fuck easy. I I'm just easy. Want, I just want a Lambo. Obviously, Lambo. <laughs> I just want. I just want something thoughtful. Like me, I'm not like a materialistic person at all. It's more of like the thought behind the gift and like, is it something that you literally just like. Amazon to your house like I don't know it's just like I want something that has a little bit of thought a little bit of meaning and just a little bit of effort mm. like a if you're out there <laughs> <let's see. laughs> it's like your list it's like hint hint <laughs> <laughs> something because if he knew I loved Lamborghinis he put that in it <laughs> yeah, you know I love fast cars you know I love suicide drives 
What's I feel a, like you're so like high, like you're so up there though. You could, you could be like, I want a Lambo. You think? Me, I'm like, All right, I dear just want Santa. some joints. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Lambo. I'll take I'm love. like, can I get a number two combo? <laughs> I'll take some cuddles, perhaps. <laughs> like, I'm down. A good morning text, maybe. Yeah. Smile. My bar is down here. Like, a good morning text. Like, let me know you're thinking about me. <laughs> Fuck. I, I just want a hug. <laughs> Oh my god! What about yeah, what no. about what's one of like the <laughs> no. what's one of the worst Christmas presents you've gotten where you just open it and you're like fuck? I don't I don't think I've ever gotten one, but I've <gasps> given one that like my family still roasts me to this what? day. So like I start when I was younger, I started knitting like just as for fun, and like I wanted to knit my mom this. <laughs> Sorry, like two white claws and two shots deep. No, you're good. I wanted to just knit my mom this scarf. And like in my head, I had this big, beautiful scarf. <laughs> and like my grandma got my mom this big, beautiful scarf. And then like by the time Christmas came, I had, it was like maybe this big. Oh. <laughs> it was like a little like finger scarf. And like I gave it to my mom just because I was like, this is what I have. And like it's thoughtful. And my siblings started laughing oh so God. hard. I cried and I ran out of the room. And I was like, I just tried. And my siblings, like, still to this day make fun of me. It could be like, like a penis scarf. Yeah, they're like, remember that little, like, little tiny, like, scarf you gave mom? I'm like, please stop. Oh, and my like, God. Once me and my mom went Christmas shopping and um, she bought everyone like all my cousins and everyone in my family huff socks like the marijuana leaf socks nice because she was like look at these oak leaf socks honey <laughs> she's like aren't these cute and i was like yeah she's like should i get them for everyone i'm like definitely yes. <laughs> oh, everyone got weed socks because yeah like, everyone got we weed did socks. we did You're an welcome. article in um we did an article in shag mag this last month of hold on i don't want to fuck it up i don't know, remember how many gifts were on here but the gifts that she actually wants that she couldn't ask for Santa. And I wanted to see if you guys actually would use these gifts. Nice. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm really close. I'm really close. <laughs> well, that's not the first time. Okay, I've laundry. Heard that. <laughs> <laughs> laundry down 100%. Down? This is oh, the yeah. thing, though. You have, to, you have to, guys, keep in mind is she going to be opening the present? <laughs> Fuck. Are you breaking? <laughs> is she going to be opening the present in front of family? Because there is a family appropriate Ooh, yeah. present. No. You give her laundry in front of her dad on Christmas morning. Hell you are. That is not. so bad. Unless Run. the family's cool. Like, I've heard of a lot of really cool families that would be, like, hilarious. What would your dad... I would pay money just to see your dad see you open, like, laundry for <laughs> Christmas. Like, oh, God. I've tried... I've actually tried getting <laughs> Becca's dad on this podcast... So many times. I know. We need to get him on. We're going to get him on. I performed Britney Spears at my Christmas party. <laughs> it's like seven years old. I made my whole family sit down, stop the food, and watch me. And I also wait, performed wait. Lindsay Lohan rumors. Wait, what Britney Spears song? I'm dead. Um, it was probably like Toxic or something. <laughs> or Slave for You. It was probably Slave for You. What? <laughs> On like, Christmas, so, yeah. you, I was like, because I got, because my mom got me oh, like she's all the a CDs. star. So I was like, I knew what songs I liked. So I was like, like everyone I sit down, and I like, I would have this. For you, your dad like. <laughs> She's yeah, like Santa. Bad. I'm a slave. I feel like you're a porn star in another like life. Seven. Like, I'm so old. I could see you being like so big in porn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, Thank you. Thank you. Her heart's warm. Okay. Um, sex coupons. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I love that. You I love that. I redeem them so fast. I'd be like, I want a massage. I want to get eaten out. I want a bubble bath. I want all like of it. Like cashing them. in all of it at one. I can like, only do one a night now. Nah. Like keep the change. <laughs> I want it all oh, tonight. We are so on tonight. I'm like, do you have a blowjob coupon? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd be like at the fucking Kinkos copying that shit. I'd be like <laughs> cutting them out. Oh my god. Okay, massage, oil, and candles. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, any of this. I feel literally. like my answer is going to be yes to yeah. all of these. I'm like, if you want to get me any of these <laughs> things, I'm fucking down. I think it's just finding ways to like have a present. Would you recommend maybe, I don't know, giving a present before Christmas? Like before. Why? But then what are you going to do on Christmas? Well, what if you're with her family? Okay, well, this yeah. is another question. Do you go to the guy's house for the holidays in a relationship? Like, how do you figure that out? 
Like, are you going to the girl's house or is she coming to your house for If holidays? she's getting chocolates on Christmas Day and you're a parent, just know she got some fucking dirty ass shit <laughs> before. <laughs> If she's opening socks on Christmas, just know her man got her something dirty. <laughs> I don't know. I've okay. always been open to going to like their house for Christmas, I think. Wow. I love being around their family. Like just, I don't know, just like their family for the holidays. I'm European, so we celebrate on Christmas Eve. So what do you mean? I've always, like, we open presents Christmas Eve at night. What the fuck do you do? How does Santa do you do get down on your Christmas chimney? Day? Santa would just, my mom would take a shower. My dad would be like, hey, want to go to McDonald's? I'd be like, for sure. And then I'd go, and I remember I told my dad, I'm like, we have to hurry back because I have to see if no Santa's coming. No wonder you coming. love McDonald's. And we went to McDonald's, and he got me a Happy Meal because I was like begging him for it like before. And then when we came back, there's, there's presents in the tree, and I'm like, what the fuck? I missed it. I missed him again. You want to know, you wanna know the, the whole summary of my childhood is... Um, we were told that when Santa came to our house, he didn't want cookies and milk. He wanted beer and bagels. <laughs> my dad was like, on, like, would not eat sugar or anything. So he's like, Santa doesn't, Santa needs a break. He wants a nice cold beer and a bagel. I'm like, so fucking naive. Bagel. Like, of course, Santa, let's open up a Coors Light. I'm like five years old, opening up a Coors Light for Santa Claus. My mom would also get really aggressive, like, when I started, like, kind of catching on. Like, I'd be like, Mom, like, why why do you have the same wrapping paper as Santa? And she'd be like, what, me and Santa can't have the same wrapping paper? She's like, mind your fucking business. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> God, Man, fuck. it's like scared. Oh my God. <laughs> What's the worst present you've ever gotten, Bex? Mm, I don't know, I've always gotten pretty, like... From a guy, pieces. though? Oh, from a guy? Um... I don't know. What? You had to feel like you know. She can't <laughs> say it because he's you watching. Know, you know. You know. No, I really, no, I really. She not. literally looked at me like, nothing. Fuck. <laughs> no, um, I'm really you know, trying we won't, to think. We won't, we'll just skip right over that. Yeah, We'll just keep I don't on know. going. So guys, so I'll, like, I'll think. Do, you, do you think you should have sex at a, like you go to a guy's house for Christmas? Are you having sex? Or are you being... Goody Miss Two Shoes. I feel like I'd be good because I do porn. So like I want your family to like me regardless of me getting railed on the internet. So like I'm gonna be like turtleneck. Like <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm an accountant. Like, like <laughs> I'm gonna be so good. Do you do you how do you think you run into that problem when you go to meet a guy's mom or family? Do they do they already like know or do you kind of um, like their dad's like sitting across the table just like <clears throat> <laughs> sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really like met people's parents recently. <laughs> All right, we'll just keep it. No, I wait. Do that. you go to his house though for Christmas? I feel like I would go to mine. I have like the most cliche Hallmark family Christmas. Like I'm really am blessed. Like I just have, like we're doing a puzzle around the campfire. <laughs> like it's. I like, like, love that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very blessed. I I realize that, but it, I feel like it would definitely be like him with my family for sure. We're gonna find you love. That's gonna be on the top of Santa's Please. list. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we had a hopeless romantic. Kendra is a hopeless Please. romantic. She just wants love. I'm down for anything. Like, if you wanna just like cuddle and fuck from time to time. There you go. <laughs> I'll go through applications. Yeah, Becca's gonna go through your application process like, for you. No. I still need a pool boy. Oh yeah, well, I actually got a good one. Oh, did you? I did. All right, let's do this. Let's wrap. We got um, Couples Corner. People have actually been emailing us in these questions. I'm actually really pumped about this. Um, okay, so I'm gonna read this. Wait, this let me see. Let me. Should I crack another white claw, girl? Yeah. Don't I mean, tell me that. <laughs> you better get to it though. Do you want one? The thing is, is like I don't drink white claws. I only shotgun them. Like I can drink you two and one? I can shotgun six. It makes you no sense. Man, fuck. Oh, we got mango. Yeah, we got mango, honey. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't drink these regularly. It's like, it takes me like so long to drink two regularly. I don't know how you shotgun it. I would love to learn. I would I love to I just bubbly. started and I'm addicted. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't chug. I don't know how to like. <laughs> how do you chug? Like, how do you. I don't. Open. I can only do like one. Gulp. I don't know how to yeah, say this without gulp. sounding sexual, it. but you just like open your throat and let it down. But how do you swallow? Like I'm <sighs> just swallow. I don't know. Just like swallow it. I just gulp, 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 and like halfway through in my head, I'm like, man, fuck. I'm like what trying. I want to learn. Like, I'm like, I think it's like, so <laughs> cool when a girl. I'm not shotgunning it. 
Because I can't. You'll embarrass the shit out of I will embarrass the shit out of She's going to be like, whoa, I did it. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, it's all falling out the side. She's like, I did yeah. it. She's like, it's empty. Guys. Crush. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. Cheers. I'm Cheers. Gonna burp. You all know this by now. Cheers. I'm going to work on my gulping skills. I'm impressed. Here she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, mine was like. <laughs> I'm you like, somebody date me, please. Oh <laughs> <laughs> or like, apply I'm like, why won't anybody date me? I shot at a white clown. I'm like, bleh. <laughs> okay. I love it. Okay, okay. Somebody okay, out there finds that impressive. Let's, let's jump into this. Okay. Yeah, someone definitely does. Where can they find you on Instagram? Uh, the real Kendra Sunderland. The real. S-U-N-D-E-R. You're probably shadow banned just like me. Yep. <laughs> but you, I love, I love you because like you get away with like so much shit. Oh, I don't get away with any. But you have so many followers and shit. Like, I mean, I get away with a lot too. People are always like, "How?" But I don't sometimes I put. Actually, yeah, true. I put my full nipples on there. You have? Yeah. What happened? How long did it last? It's still up there. Really? No fucking way. Yeah, I want to see. It. <laughs> I'm surprised. How did you get away with that? Did you? I the same thing I tell like everybody. Like Instagram stuff. Like I, this. You I, have ones with your I tell everybody that I like suck off the CEO of Instagram, but that's a lie. Like I literally just don't like, say that. No, no, no. You do. <laughs> she sucks off the CEO of Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I literally just I just post it, and like if it stays, it stays, and if it gets deleted, like I get stuff deleted all the time. But then, like, I don't get the option to appeal it. Like, they just deleted it. Yeah, I don't it. either anymore. They, they took right? that away they from me. They took it from us. We don't deserve it anymore. I'm not too appealing to Instagram. <laughs> I'm dead. Maybe they got rid of it, actually. Oh, fuck. We cursed it. There was one where I had, like, my straight nipples. Yeah, apparently you can do right see-through, there. but you can't do, like, this, which is my favorite. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to read really fast. <laughs> the shit show pod question. She fucked my best friend. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. This is like a Christmas nighttime Does not story. Sound good. <laughs> hey Julia, really good episode with Bradley. I saw your new outro for the podcast. Solid idea. So this girl was invited over to the function, and after I had talked to her for a while, one of her friends came over and said she really connected with me, and I thought it was really cute. So I did my thing and made sure to focus on her for the evening because I totally Aww. agreed. The night went on and I thought I had it in the bag because we were vibing hard. I disappeared for a few minutes and come back to find out she was in a room fucking one of my best friends. We were all drunk, but apparently she's still into me and wants to talk. Am I a douche because that turned me off or is she in the wrong for fucking my friend like that? Do I still pursue her? I guess is my question. Oh wait, do I still pursue her? I guess is my question. No beef toward homie though. Sharks gotta eat. Sharks <laughs> 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 gotta eat. Uh, eat my man. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> gotta eat. Disclaimer: My guy was drunk as fuck, so he wasn't really there uh, that's to an see excuse. me trying to slide on this chick. That's an excuse. You always ask the questions I'm thinking, and I love your content. Following before the baseball game, unlike these other simps. Nice. Sincerely, she fucked my best friend. Sincerely, she oh fucked my god, my this is like the nightmare before Christmas. Um, okay, first of all, how long were you gone? A few minutes. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. You were gone for a few minutes. Oh god. What? Nah. She's like, where is he? Oh, whatever. Maybe she was so drunk she thought it was him. I doubt it, though. No, that's a <laughs> really, that's a I stretch. I fucking doubt it, Also, though. his homie saying that he was so fucked up. I feel like no matter how fucked up I've been, I know what I'm doing. But he's saying his friend was so you know fucked I mean? up. Not know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> All right. But you know who yeah, you're that's doing what I'm saying. it with. No matter how no. fucked up I am, I don't think I've ever, like, really, like, I've never had sex with someone that where I'm like, oh my god, never. What? <laughs> Are we sure like, about actually, this? I know. I'm like, while well, I'm saying this, I'm like, Shut this. I'm like trying to think back. That guy likes to fuck before the first date. Oh my god, I don't. I, okay, it was one time. Kendra doesn't even fuck You're on the first date. Preaching to the choir over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, fuck. I make them come before I even meet them. Like, Ooh, oh, that should be on a t shirt. <laughs> that should be on your merch. <laughs> it's from Megan the Stallion. I didn't make that up. Oh fuck. Oh my um, god, Megan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back. I'm so okay, fucked well, what's up. Our, what's our advice I'm to this so guy? Drunk. Oh my god, Come on. Megan. What's our <laughs> What's our advice? I'm like Megan. <laughs> fuck. 
and this is where all our time goes down. <laughs> Cut this. Okay, no, 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 no. What, what's our advice to Mister? She fucked my best friend because we gotta, we gotta give it to him. Come on. Oh fuck, that's a good. Can fuck you... her best friend. Ooh, and Ooh. then be like, I was fucked up. Fuck <laughs> yes. no, her. I say give her a shot. Give her a really? Sh- yeah. If it was drunk, they just met that first night. Oh, they just you don't met feel like it's gonna be awkward if they start dating and then like you like you just hang out with that other guy and she's like, oh yeah, yeah remember when I sucked his dick first? Like, but who's in the wrong? The homie? I feel like the homie. Like he's like, a sh- I don't get why he's, he's just not mad at the nut, homie. Honestly, yeah. I would get mad at the homie and be like, did you not call dibs? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> literally pointless all right well if you have any we literally didn't give him any advice like nothing useful literally <laughs> at all. all different advice um, talk to her take her out on a date see what her excuse is i don't know oh, no talk take her out on a date <laughs> no take her out on a date see how it goes whatever fuck it you only vote once you literally only <laughs> live once i'm slurring did you say you only vote right, once <laughs> That's what I heard. We're getting out of here. This is literally the worst shit show. I'm sorry, Kendra. I apologize shit, in advance. Tell show. people where to find you one more time for me. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the real Kendra Sunderland or Twitter at KS Library Girl. Ooh, mm, love that. What do you remind them to do? Come on, do the outro for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't fuck your best friend's girl. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm are just, out. I'm we will just, see you. It's not even really his girl. He didn't call dibs. So. <laughs> see you next. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Call dibs is Guys. what she's saying. <laughs> see you next Thursday. We out. <laughs>